Hey guys, it's Heather and I am here making a super large batch of soap. I don't think you guys have ever seen me use this mold before, but I am actually in my soap studio now, so I wanted to make some soap. It's kind of late in the evening, but I am so super excited that I have this ready finally that I could not help but make some soap. I am making my mermaid soap and it is a cherrylicious sweet melon sort of mixture that almost smells like bubble gum, like a really nice fruity bubble gum. I'm going to buzz this in. It's going to, here comes the lye water mixed with sodium lactate and salt. Just kind of mixing it up a bit. Pour it down here. All right, now let's go ahead and add the goat's milk in. I'm going to add some titanium dioxide to the base because I'm using neons, but I don't want them to be crazy bright neon. I just want a beautiful blue and green with a little white mixed in in my. Okay guys, I am hoping that you can still see because you fell off of my tripod. And this is thickening up really fast. I'm not sure why. This is thickening up really, really fast. So I am going to go ahead and pour off what I need to pour off. And it's my same recipe that I always use. I think it's just the temperature in the room is different than what it usually is. And I think maybe my oils were a little bit warmer than they usually are. So we shall see if that makes the difference and I'm gonna add in my fragrance oil let's hope it doesn't accelerate because that would definitely not be good it's my white Pour in my blue. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit of a swirl. And then I'm going to pour my green in. Okay, I am going to clean up those edges. They're dripping. No dripsies. I really hope you guys can see this. Okay, and let's pour my first layer. more soap to my base batch. Took that in the other room to bang it down so that it wouldn't make you guys fall off of your perch. And here comes the next pour. I'm pouring from pretty high because I definitely want these wave. And 
I'm scraping my bowl. And then I'm going to pour over the top the remaining soap. I'm just getting every bit out. kind of shimmy it just a little bit okay now this is my green so I'm just sort of plopping it in in a few locations some on top some from up high because I want it to have different levels of depth And this is muted, the green and the uh, blue, because I am using really beautiful hand-painted mermaid tail embeds. And so I didn't want my colors in the soap to be super bright because of the... embeds and I'm going to sort of smooth these around to make it look like water. Okay guys I just kind of ran a skewer through here so that it would give it a little bit more of that wavy texture. I don't know if you guys can see it but I have little lines marked off so that I know where to place my mermaid tails. And these are the mermaid tails that I painted. And next up is to position them. some glitter all over the top and I have a lovely new glitter sprayer from Nurture Soap and it's pretty cool and I definitely want a good amount of glitter to go on each bar so that it will look like the water twinkling Cutting soaps. I have cut my first one. They do seem really large. They are large soaps, but they will shrink a little bit over time. See the back, you can see the waves that I tried to work out on the inside. They're super pretty. I'm very excited about them. Now I use this little guy here for these size soaps. Uh, I have to use it when it's somewhat soft 
I've already worked out my um, my measurements. I don't know if you guys can see the little lines that are going through that sort of mark my cutting space, but that keeps it or keeps my cuts straight. Keeps them straight and smooth and beautiful. And the soap, like I said, is still a little bit soft in order to use this, so it's a little bit tacky. But boy, are they beautiful. And of course, I will still trim the soaps and get them beveled and everything when uh, when they're a little more solid. And I'm using a washcloth and alcohol to clean between cuts. the side like I said they really are genuinely beautiful I'm going ahead and putting them on my curing wrap because it's right next to the table well not right next to but close When working with this many soaps, I really need, need to free up that space. Checking my sizing, and they are the exact same size. There's this one, and this one. These soaps will take anywhere between four to eight weeks to cure. Usually it's somewhere four to six. And this is Heather from HMP Artistry, wishing you luck, love, and a really great day, guys. Bye.